Welcome back to Office 365 series. Today is the most exciting video. This is the, going to be the user experience for OneDrive. And the more, most exciting is because as soon as I uh, launched uh, my um, this virtual machine, I got a series of notification. One was that add files to um, OneDrive and now it's saying um, like uh, f let me show you first it says add files to OneDrive and I was like okay it's a like analyzing it and then these two this one the white one is for the personal use uh, you can see OneDrive personal up to date then the blue one is the business OneDrive charter you see and you see five files were not uploaded to OneDrive so basically what happened is uh, in the last video this one if you s if you have seen this video, you would know that we were able to upload the exe files even though we had blocked them in the uh, admin section. So like I said that there is a latency issue or it's a little bit slower, whatever you um, do in Office 365, it takes just a while, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to a whole day for it to be effective. And if you see the sync option, when we did we put the exe that we do not want exe be uploaded and <clears throat> i just i could i think just exe would suffice uh but what happened is even though we in this video in this one we were able to uh, upload all the files with the exe uh it took its time go into the back end it infected and now you see f uh, right here five files were not uploaded to OneDrive and when you once you click on it it says there are five sync issues in OneDrive so we're gonna go and click on it and see what the issues is it says yammer.exe exe 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 and exe so all the exe they are uh, hereby from now uh, we will not be able to upload any exe because admin has blocked them so this is very exciting <clears throat> so even if some user were able to upload a certain file that you no longer want that file type so it's not like that they had in the past so they are allowed to keep that file now as soon as you block them they will those files will be a no no we can open folder and this is the local folder and you see testing it says status this one the status is like it's a uh, okay and this one is like in the cloud and then this one there are five issues right there so we need to remove them the other thing is if i click here view online so it opens up the um web browser uh, and the web browser view that you have and then you have to go and check the testing folder and if you see that onedrive location it's by sharepoint.com so it is in there and then even though yammer is showing up here that exe uh, is there an indication that it's no good see detail this item is not shared and you know a little bit of a uh, information about this what you did and all that so if I click on it it gives me uh, just this files and who had access or has access and all that so the other thing is that if if I am able to unclick it you see that there is no sync option button right here it's gone and the final thing is we want to see how much space we have we um in this in the previous video like uh, storage um i did like try to 512 gb but this web page right there i forgot i'm like there was another odd thing like uh, you can manage everything through powershell as well and it said that even if you force it to have less than one terabyte by default it will one terabyte is the minimum that you can assign so that was happening once we were uh, like in the back end uh, when we were giving it storage here 512 
it was not taking it so what i did is last night before going to sleep i doubled it rather than to one terabyte i made it two terabyte now we're gonna see i haven't checked it so now we're gonna see in our settings to see if this one is still 1024 or it's like it's a uh, 2048 that is two terabytes well, let's find out so basically 1024 is one the next one so 1025 mb is one gb 1024 gb is one terabyte so we're gonna go to the storage meter metrics and there you go 2.4 uh, oh right there 2048 so the one terabyte is the minimum wherever you do that it takes time so i am very excited whatever we did in the back end it took effect so i'm gonna keep this video short sweet simple just wrap it it's just a user experience so you see it's right here and it's just giving you an x that uh, what's wrong and in all more open your charter folder settings online pass syncing manage storage so it's this one <coughs> exactly the same thing and then you have settings you can go to settings from here add an account you have used this much one location is syncing so only one folder you can choose more folder from here uh, this is your backup important pc folder you can back up so you can use these two online uh, onedrive for a backup uh, as well but now you're uh, we talked in the previous videos that the onedrive is like a syncing or um, replicating it's not a backup solution so this one it allows you to back up network is like uh, how much um you want the network bandwidth to be used for one drive it's not like that uh, if you have like huge amount of data and as soon as you put it there it's going to consume all of your upload or download speed upload speed for that matter and you will not be able to do much so that's why you can you know set it up here this is office like file allocation and sync conflict or you want you know if there are two copies you want to merge them or you want to delete one or you want to keep both so you will be it's just like on a um, normal pc when we copy it and these are like general settings here so these are like all the notification and all that i'm gonna close this and let's see if there is anything else before i wrap this video for good view online get help send feedback and close one drive i close it and the connection is closed so it should be gone from here and there it is it's gone so this one is personal like the one that you get I was unable to get the settings so you have only 5 GB for the uh, personal drive but for one drive for business you get one terabyte that is about uh, 20 times of this so if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.